Buying coins and getting banned are not a good combo. If you boys don't want to get banned and want cheap, fast, and reliable coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Use code Monty at checkout and DM me for the tips to not get banned, boys. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, boys. Got a nice little video for you today, and that is basically the best ways to level up in all of the field passes. We're going to talk about every single method. Um, honestly, boys. It's pretty self-explanatory, man. It's pretty much just grinding, but we're going to talk about it exactly. We're going to go over each and every single thing that there is. So before we do get into this video, boys, if you guys do need coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Link in the description below. Make sure you guys use code MONTY at checkout. And if you don't, you guys don't want to get banned buying coins, hit me up in DM or wherever you want to hit me up. And I'll uh, let you know how to not get banned buying coins, man. There's some tips. And let's get into this video. So... Actually, one more thing I do want to say is uh, we actually have make rights. Make rights coming, I think, today. I'm pretty sure they said they already sent them out, but I didn't get them, so I don't know when we are getting them because uh, I am definitely supposed to be receiving these because I opened Legends packs when they were, like, glitched and they were not giving out, I think, 89s. They were supposed to be giving out 89 pluses. They were only giving out 88s or something like that. But uh, yeah, so we, we are receiving a make right for that. We're getting two 90 plus legends forever. How many op uh, legends packs you've opened. So pretty fire. Uh, let me know what you guys pull. Send me your polls on Twitter, at me, whatever you want to do. Let's get into the rest of this video. So let's talk about, we got this season three field pass. I know everybody wants that Rob Gronkowski, including myself. How do you get him? So basically guys, in the season three field pass, if you scroll to the right, you can see program, stats, daily, exchange, things like that. The only thing that really matters over, well, stats matter, stats are going to matter, but other than stats, it's basically just going to be your daily objective. Guys, daily objective is probably going to be the most important thing, and that is literally just, you're just coming on Madden daily and getting your daily challenges done, literally purchasing a pack of Completing a set, stupid easy. It's just the 200 offensive yards, which you know you could just go ahead and get doing solos or playing them a champs game, whatever you want to do. Get this done every single day. This goes to this. Oh, actually no, this doesn't go to that. Excuse me. I'm thinking of we're in the Super Bowl um, uh, field pass right now, but it goes over to program. And if you go over to no, nah, my bad, stats. If you go over to stats, you go to daily tracker. It shows you all of the days for the daily objective. So you get so much free XP just from completing the daily objective. So make sure you guys get that done every day you get a month. But other than the daily objectives, season three, there's not much XP to actually gain just from strictly the season three field pass. It's usually going to be coming from the competitive field pass, the Super Bowl field pass, the playoff field pass. Uh, let's start with the competitive. I like the competitive is because it's much champs. I mean, much champs, man. If you guys love playing Madden online, I mean, there's really not much else to say. Mutt Champs is the method. Guys, all you guys got to do, really, this is what I do. I, if I really took a week to go ahead and actually grind my competitive field pass, what I'm doing is, is I'm playing all my Mutt Champions games. I'm doing these two sets right here. All these stats would be completed. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm playing a little bit of solo battle games. If I need the CP to get, to get leveled up, I'm doing it. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything else. This is pretty self-explanatory, man. I mean, when you're playing Mutt Champs, you're getting so many different stats done. You're getting the competitive field pass stats done. You're getting the Super Bowl uh, stats done. And you're getting the, the playoff stats done. And you're getting season three stats done. You are literally getting XP for every single field pass just by playing Mutt Champs. Stupid easy, super easy. I mean, Mutt Champs is the method. But let's get for, let's forget the competitive field pass. Let's talk about the Super Bowl field pass. How do you level up in the Super Bowl field pass? So if you just go over to objectives, guys, all four of these columns are gonna help you level up, and all of them mean pretty much different things in a big way. Like, guys, you could get XP for doing the solo challenges. You could get XP by just playing the game and getting stats and grinding. You could get XP from just doing sets. And you can get XP for winning games and daily objectives. So Super Bowl Field Pass, man, what I recommend for you guys is for the playoffs and the Super Bowl Field Pass, go ahead and grind all the solo challenges you need to do. If you have the Field Pass completed already, obviously you don't need to do that. Or if you have the Field Pass completed before you finish the solos, then you could just stop playing the solos and stop there. But I recommend doing the solos for both the Super Bowl and the playoff solos. Lots of free XP doing that. So, 
Uh, like we talked about the Super Bowl, the challenges. I would do the challenges in the order I would do it. The fastest way to level up is getting all the challenges done, doing these sets however which way you want it. I would just recommend doing the easy ones, doing the sets, getting the challenges done, and uh, pretty much just playing Mutt Champs, man. Playing Mutt Champs is going to get you everything. Complete your solos, then grind your Mutt Champs, and you will get a lot of free XP and free things in general. Go ahead and grind that. Um, that's pretty much it for the Super Bowl Field Pass. Now let's finish off with the playoffs field pass and it's the last part of the video boys so it's pretty much the same as the super bowl field pass man it's pretty really much the same exact thing as you guys can see right here it has the same exact four steps as the super bowl field pass grind the solos man somehow get these sets done whichever way you want doesn't matter when you do them i would just recommend just getting it done in general just so you get the xp and then pretty much just play much champs man put one of the players in your lineup and you know these stats are going to come as you go mad free xp from just grinding the game boys and that's pretty much it for this video Video, man if you guys did enjoy this video man smash the like button that is the fastest way to level up in mutt right now the fastest way boys pretty much just grinding your solos that you need to grind left for the other field passes and you know grinding your mutt champs man mutt champs will get you a long way mutt champs is probably the most important thing in leveling up in every single field pass so get on it boys thank you for watching this video peace out